Hello, my name is Dylan Jones, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today's session will highlight the procedures for basic data collection in TerraSync. To begin, we will first open TerraSync and set up our connection to the GNSS receiver. Second, we will open and create a new data file where we will store our features. After that, I will demonstrate the collection of a point feature, a line feature using time logging, a line feature using distance logging, and finally I will demonstrate the collection of an area feature. When we are all done collecting data, we will close out the data file. So I've started up TerraSync. Uh, the first thing I will want to do is go to the setup screen. So you can click this drop down arrow and go down to setup. What I want to do is connect to my GNSS receiver. Connect to the receiver by pressing this button on top. You'll see the connection trying to be made and then it's going to find the number of satellites. I have 14 within view, which is a very good number. You'll need at least four satellites to collect data. So now that I have the uh, settings set up, um, I'm going to go to the data menu, the data screen. And then I'll want to tap new for the submenu. And here we can create a new data file, uh, which will be a rover file stored in the default location. And then we can give it a unique name so it's easy to find later on. I'll just name it test. And then we'll choose the data dictionary we want to use. Um, for this example, I will choose generic and then tap create. It asks you for uh, the antenna height. Uh, this is where you'll be holding your device. Uh, I'm going to say about four feet and press OK. To start, I'm going to collect a point feature. So I'll tap on point generic and then I'll add my comment or my attributes if you are using a different data dictionary. I'm going to call this point one. Oops. One. And then I can press log to begin logging. So I'll do that. And you see here in the top right that it is counting up the number of positions that have been recorded. Um, so what is happening is the device is collecting positions. Uh, and then it's going to average the, those positions to create a point feature. Uh, so you can see I'm already at 25. Uh, I can click done to store that feature. And you see here, feature stored. So that feature is stored under the file test. The, what's going to happen later on is we're going to transfer that file to our PC for post-processing or for uh, other analysis. So that feature is stored within the file test. The second feature that I want to demonstrate is going to be a line feature. Now we can click on line generic here to start our line feature. We will be prompted to add our comment again, just like in the point feature. I'm going to type line one. And then we can begin logging. Now depending on your uh, settings, um, you're either going to be uh, collecting a line feature based on time or based on distance. Or you can do a line feature, uh, you can collect a line feature manually. First I'm going to collect a line feature based on time. If you go up to options and then logging interval, you can choose your logging style. Uh, that's either distance or time. Uh, I'm going to start with time and that will collect a position every second. You can choose uh, either one second or five seconds. Um, typically if you were to be walking you would choose five seconds. If you were to be in a uh, you know faster paced uh, vehicle um, maybe you would want uh, every second because you're covering more distance per uh, unit of time. So I've chosen my logging style and logging interval. I'll click done. And then I can begin logging my line. 
you'll see here the pencil so uh, you know that's demonstrating that the line is being drawn you're walking down a line drawing this line collecting features every second once you have gotten to the end of your line we can click done and that feature is stored I also want to demonstrate how to cr create a line feature based on distance so we'll go into line generic give it a comment and then under options I can change my logging interval style to be distance oriented so what this is saying for every 16 feet that I walk or move uh, a, a new position will be placed at that spot so I'll click done and now I can uh, start logging based on distance um, so right away it will capture your first position and then you will walk your line after you've walked or moved a uh, displacement of 16 feet a uh, new position will be recorded um, and then once you have uh, completed your line you'll click done and your feature is stored the last type of feature that we can collect in TerraSync is an area feature so we'll click area generic and an area feature is exactly like a line feature it's collected the same exact way the only difference is that at the end after done logging it's going to connect the endpoint to the start point to log an area feature you know we'll type in our comment area one and then begin logging as you see it's the same um, it's the same uh, little icon up there the pencil that is drawing the line which you are walking um, and then you can pause throughout you know if you are um, you know changing directions um, that's a it's a good feature and then you can resume your line and then at the end you'll press done and then it's going to store that feature as an area um, because it connected that endpoint to the start point once you have collected all of your necessary features it is now time to close out the file so to close out the file uh, we'll, we'll be sent back to this screen after uh, storing the last feature um, and we'll click close and then it'll ask are you sure you want to close this file and we'll click yes and that that's that that will be the end of the file and we can go up here to uh, the file manager tab and we will see that file there that we just collected and that will be ready to be sent over uh, to the PC for post-processing or um, other analysis that you might be doing after uh, after collecting data. This concludes today's Frontier Precision Tech Talk. We hope you found this video beneficial and will join us again next time. Thanks!